Hi everybody, it's Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com here with a quick tour of Apple's all new MacBook Pro 13. This is Apple's new 13 inch MacBook Pro notebook infused with Intel's new Sandy Bridge processor architecture inside. We'll take you on a quick tour of the machine, but make sure you stop by our site for the full review with all the performance benchmarks and analysis. Now in the box you get a pretty standard assortment of Apple gear that comes with your notebook. You get a Apple MagSafe power adapter and the power cord to go with that. And you get this documentation kit, everything Mac and everything else. The documentation uh, quick start guide user's manual right here is in the everything Mac book. And then in here is actually a sleeve for Mac OS 10.6.6 aka Snow Leopard and uh, you get the discs for that as well as this microfiber cloth for polishing your MacBook Pro. And the machine itself, this aluminum clad beauty. Let's take a look around and show you what it's made of. Now the MacBook Pro 13 that we tested came equipped with an Intel Core i7 2620 QM processor clocked at 2.7 gigahertz. This is Intel's latest dual core Sandy Bridge notebook architecture that has on chip 4 meg of L3 cache as well as an integrated Intel HD graphics 3000 graphics core for the graphics processing in the notebook. So it doesn't rely on a discrete graphics processor but relies on the integrated graphics core of the Core i7 chip. Also on board the MacBook Pro 13 is a 500 gig 5400 RPM hard drive and 4 gig of DDR3 1333 system memory. The display is a 13.3 inch LED backlit display with a native resolution of 1280 by 800. Not the highest resolution display we've ever seen on a 13.3 inch machine, but regardless, it's actually a very high quality display with good brightness, contrast, color uniformity, and excellent viewing angles. On the left edge of the MacBook Pro 13 is Apple's patented MagSafe power adapter port, which connects the power adapter connector magnetically to its port versus mechanically. And next to that is a gigabit ethernet port. There's also a Firewire 800 port. And this is the Thunderbolt IO port. This is based on Intel Light Peak technology that offers 10 gigabit per second bi-directional bandwidth for high speed external peripherals. Things like external storage for video editing or perhaps high definition displays. Any Thunderbolt compatible peripheral that requires that level of bandwidth can really take advantage of this technology. Apple has announced with its partners uh, future Thunderbolt products and peripherals coming to market, but uh, right now none available, and so that's a bit of future proofing, if you will, and a future expansion capability on the MacBook Pro 13. Next to that are a pair of USB 2.0 ports, a flash card reader slot, a headphone jack, and then Apple's battery indicator power meter right there. You just press that button, and I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's little tiny LEDs that light up to give you a battery level. On the right edge of the machine is an IR port for connecting an Apple remote. Over here is a security lock port and this is a slot load area for the 8x slot loading super drive with dual layer support. It's a DVD CD RW drive and up top here is the power button. And of course the MacBook Pro 13 has Apple's rather large multi-touch trackpad on board and a really nice roomy keyboard area with good tactile feel and a nice travel to the keycaps for a very comfortable typing experience. Also the keyboard is LED backlit with an ambient light sensor on board that detects whether or not it needs to kick in that backlight. So a nice feature to have in the keyboard with that LED backlight. Also up here is a small microphone port. Now the construction of the MacBook Pro is also Apple's patented unibody all aluminum construction with a really nice fit and finish to it. It's also really sturdy and very rigid and strong, but it's also one of the heavier 13.3 inch uh, notebooks that we've tested here at Hot Hardware, but definitely one of the most quality feeling notebooks we've tested as well. And in terms of performance, the MacBook Pro 13 has a fair bit of firepower in its arsenal with the Intel Core i7 2620QM processor at the helm. Here we're playing a full 1080p high def H.264 encoded QuickTime movie trailer clip. This is the I Am Legend movie trailer with Will Smith. And as you can see, playing very smoothly. And by the way, image quality is excellent. Uh, the contrast and brightness and color reproduction on the Apple MacBook display is just super. So we'll go ahead and we'll play that in the background here while we do a little bit of web browsing. So we'll multitask a little bit for you. As you can see, that movie is still playing nice and crisp and smoothly. Let's go ahead and pull up another web page 
our favorite, of course. And we'll do a little bit of video multitasking. Let's pull up one of Hot Hardware's videos here. Let's pull up this Dell Inspiron Hybrid. We'll go ahead and play that video for you. That is a YouTube video, so we're playing that in the foreground. We've got that HD 1080p QuickTime clip playing in the background. And as you can see, absolutely no problem for the MacBook Pro 13. And finally, believe it or not, the MacBook Pro 13 does have a little bit of gaming capability under the hood. Here we're playing Left 4 Dead 2. This is what we would call a you know, mid-range gaming title. Um, First-person shooter, some zombie killing fun, and Marco's favorite time waster here. Um, we've got it set to a resolution of 1280 by 800, the native resolution of the MacBooks display and as you can see things are looking pretty crisp and very smooth frame rates good we have shaders turned up to a medium level as well as an isotropic filtering set to what we would say a medium setting of uh, 8x anisotropic filtering uh, we don't have aa turned on but as you can see frame rates good and image quality is good with the macbook pro 13 and a little bit of uh, left for dead 2. so again um Pretty good horsepower, pretty good capability with the MacBook Pro 13. That's it for our quick little hands-on demo of Apple's new MacBook Pro 13-inch with Intel's Core i7-2620QM Sandy Bridge processor. Stop by our site for the full review with benchmark details and all the good stuff. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.